Hey everyone, welcome back to Cares and Olives. Welcome to another video. I will be talking about some new gems in my collection that I've recently acquired. But I also want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who participated in my giveaway in my last video. It was for the Monte Grappa ink, uh, the Harry Potter uh, ink, and I've already made contact with the winner and congratulations to her. The product is on its way to you. It should um, get to you next week. So um, I'm excited to read everyone's comments. I have read everyone's comments and if you do choose to still comment on that video, that's okay too. I will still read it and um, it helps me gauge what you guys like to see the most. So let's get into my uh, new acquisitions. Um, I may have talked about this in a previous video, but I finally got the Caveco uh, Iridescent Pearl. This is the like a Caveco Sport. It's a pocket pen and um, it's the Caveco Collection. So it's a limited edition and this color is so pretty. It looks great with a silver clip, but I also got it, um, I got a black clip. So I'm gonna put that on this pen when it comes in and see how it looks. But right now it's just borrowing a clip from another Caveco I own. This one has a broad nib that writes oh so perfectly and I am stunned. It makes me want to buy another Caveco. Not that I need one, but um, I got it in the broad and it's so juicy and wet. And I will show you what that looks like in just a minute. So that's, this is the first one. Next is my very first custom pen. And this one is from Ben at Mayfair Pens. You get to pick the body and you get to pick the um, the cap. So he has, um, I think he has different blanks and you get to pick the color or you can just look at one of his different styles of pens that he creates and pick from those bodies or cap colors. Uh, it did take, from the time that I placed the order, it did take about three weeks for him to say that he was going to work on my particular order. Um, the nice thing is that you can reach out to him on Instagram and look at all his products and send him a message. He will write down what you want and then you don't have to pay until after he makes it and sends you a photo. So, um, which is quite nice because let's say a couple weeks later you don't like the choices you made um you can change out but you would have to probably wait until it's your turn again so um i got this from instagram the guy on instagram it's really pretty it has a pearl cap and then the body has some type of glitter in it so it does look kind of glittery um, because I do have like a, a special ink in here, but uh, the body is also pretty glittery and it shades towards like a purple. So really pretty. It is like a pocket pen. If I can compare it to a Caveco, it's pretty close in the size. Maybe by a centimeter or two. It doesn't have a cap or a roll stop, so you want to be pretty careful about that. Um, but this material seems pretty solid. I do like the little dip in the middle, kind of where you can hold your pen. And um, it's, it's really lightweight. I really like the fact that you can screw on the cap to the back and you have a pretty decent sized pen. So it does come with a number six Yoo nib and I got mine in broad 
and it writes really lovely. This is also an eyedropper pen, so in order to get the ink in here, you have to unscrew the nib and um, eyedropper your ink. He says that you don't need to put some grease on the threads as it's made to be an eyedropper pen, but if you want to, you can. And I did a little bit and I don't have any problems with leaking. I mean, I put this thing upside down and right side up and everything and on its side. So it's doing just fine. I also inked up the pen all the way to the top to the maximum and still no leaking. So pretty solid, solid and well made. The only gripe I have is that some of the threads on the back of the pen are just, could be a little bit smoother, just a tad. I mean, it's not like I'm going like this uh, with my pen or anything like that, but when it comes to whether or not it's like a seamless, smooth, pen, I would just say that this is not super smooth as I think it could be, um, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, my very first custom pen where I got to pick everything on the pen itself and the model. This is the Naira? Naira model? I hope I'm saying that right. And his packaging was very simple. It came in this um, plastic container and I got a lovely note from him, which I put in my journal. Here. And very simple and um, definitely um, interested in getting more from him. So we will do a writing sample of that one in a minute. I do want to talk about my last pen. So I only put it in here to show you like the size, um, but this one is, I have been kind of just keeping on my desk. It did not come with this. This is just a Galen leather sleeve that I got from another order. But this is a beautiful Hardy Penwrights custom pen. And I only recently discovered them through uh, a YouTuber. I, why can't I think? Uh, I can't think of her name at the moment, but uh, or her YouTube name. But I'm pretty sure many of you who love my fountain pen videos watch her videos as well. This one does have a roll stop. And it's really unique because it's just a little dot. It actually kind of reminds me of my Lamy dialogue. And um, the color of the body is so pretty. I think I want to say this is my only fountain pen that looks like this. Like I don't have any other fountain pens that have this pearly, almost iridescent swirls. And it just shimmers and it's really special. So this is from Hardy Penwrights. He has so many different models and a, quite a few different price points on his site. In my package, it did come with this little envelope that had information on my pen, a sticker, which I need to take out actually. And then um, a note from, oh, Greg, that's the name. Note from Greg, and then he also writes down all the information on your pen. So this one is the English Garden, and it has the, the logo stop, um, pen stop, and it is fitted with a yo-yo nib, a number six. And I got mine in a broad. It also came with this guy, which is just a uh, plain notebook, and it does write really well. No feathering. It is more of a cream paper. So some really lovely extras, and this one is this body. Um, the edges are, are slightly 
I always want to say like a hair like bowed, like a curve, just slightly. It's not completely straight, but there's so this material, the way that he has, um, I don't know what the word is, but it's so soft. There's no hard edges. Everything is just well made. Even the threads here are so soft and um, it doesn't affect where my grip is. Like it feels like it's just like they aren't threads, I guess you could say. And it's fitted with a number six Yolo nib and it does have, I think I would say, I guess it's his logo on the nib. And this is a Juicy Rider too. So my three pens, let me show you the size comparisons. Yep, <laughs> they are, this one is definitely a regular size pen. Um, let me compare it with something like a Lamy 2000. Yeah, it's pretty similar in size to a Lamy. But the material is so smooth and it's just so soft in your hands that um, I just I just like to hold it and rub on it, which is weird. Okay, so let's get into the writing samples. So I've been inspired by Simone in our, her YouTube videos on her pen swatches. And I've been doing a lot of my pen swatches on like random little notebooks that I don't really use for anything else. But I've decided that I want to use one notebook and I'm going to make it my traveler's notebook. And um, so I've designated this insert, which is just a Taroko insert you can get from, um, I think you can get these on jet pens and from Amazon. And so I added this in there. I have just like a little sleeve and I have another one, which I wanna say is the same thing. Yeah, it's just a slightly different color. It's like a light brown, but I think it's just because I had this one for a long time. And since I got that sticker, why not just put it on here and that will just designate this as my swatch um, notebook. So I'm going to take this off if I can get it off. Oh, this is a nice, a nice vinyl. And that's probably very crooked. Just maybe. That's okay. So I'm going to stamp it. Date stamp my entry. I'll just pick blue. Probably going to skip the first page and get right into it on the second. All right, so let's zoom on in. I'm going to use that Sashi Hara ink because. It's fabulous on um, Tomoe River. It doesn't really bleed through a million pages. And Taroko uses Tomoe River paper. So this stamp is one of those, uh, I think I got it a million years ago from a stationary scrapbooking kit or something. So it has words and then it has the date, the year, and you can change it. I don't want the words, I just want the date. So yes, it's May 28, can't believe it. Summer is here. So because this is Tomoe River, I'm going to put on my glove. Many of you ask about this glove. It is what I use to keep my oily hands from smearing the paper with 
the hand oils that I have. And that allows me to not just use the top half of my paper, but also the bottom half, which is usually where your hand will rest. Um, so let's get into it. Again, my uh, I'm writing with all broads today. So you'll get to see how different broads write. Um, this is the Caveco broad, but it is gorgeous. So just a little bit of color there. And again, this is the iridescent, and I already made a spelling error. And the color I'm using is Sailor Manio. Yamogi. Again, this is my broad. So it's broad enough to see the change in the color of the ink, but not too broad to where you can't write clear enough or somewhat small handwriting. So we all know I like to draw, that's no um, new news, but I figured let's draw out my pen. My name looks a little wonky, but that's okay. So this ink is um, really pretty. It has like the really light teal color and then the darkness kind of settles at the bottom of the letters. And when I'm writing a whole page using this ink, it just, it pops and it looks, it looks gorgeous. Okay, so next. Sometimes this nib can have a hard start and I'm not quite sure if it's the nib or the ink. This ink is actually really thick. I can just tell in comparison to a lot of my other inks. Again, you can find Mayfair pens on Instagram. I think it's called Naraya. It is Opal and Stormwind. And then the ink is Troublemaker, Sea Moon. And again, I'm using a broad. So it kind of flares out around the grip section and then there's all these sparkles. So yeah, there's a little bit of a hard start, but once I get started, it's pretty good. So I'll know more the next time I have to ink it up and with a different ink to see if it's really the ink and maybe that ink isn't good for a um, eyedropper pen. So this pen does not post. I can't even attempt to post it, which is fine because it would be quite long <laughs> if it were to post, um, unless it were like a deep post where it would sit here, but uh, we don't know because it doesn't post at all. So this one is going to be an interesting color, something very unlike the body of the pen. Again, you can see all that when it catches the light. And I guess this one also kind of has a hard start sometimes. But I did have it uncapped for a second. So this is a very interesting color. I really wanted to try out the color in a pen. This is the first pen.
This one is the 28C Crow. And I have Robert Oster. Australis Oak. Forgot to write the name of the blank English garden. And he still has some of these pens. Although they're handmade, um, they're already, I'm thinking they're already pre made um, pens. And you can see the options of the blanks on his site. And then you just buy that pen and you pick your your nib. This one has a pretty long grip and then it flares out just a little really simple but I will also draw the cap. This ink is um, really pretty. Um, I think it would look even uh, really light in a smaller nib pen. So I wanted to try it out in a larger nib. I think broad is perfect for this ink. Oh boy, I forgot one more thing. This is a broad as well. And there we go. I just wanted to sum up this video and show you how it looks close up. So these broads are Faction and I love using them in my Tomoe River Taroko Shop notebook. And now that I have better lighting just kind of wanted to show you, you can see that sheen and then the shading. So definitely, definitely my favorite and I've been really enjoying uh, journaling with them. Thank you again and thank you everyone who participated in the giveaway. Um, hopefully I will have more soon. Uh, so just stay tuned for that and have a good weekend. Bye.